Let's zoom into the wing of a blue morpho butterfly. We'll start with a digital camera, then move to an optical microscope, and finally, we'll see the wing under a high-powered scanning electron microscope. The blue morpho comes from the Amazon rainforest in South America. Its beautiful blue iridescent color is created by tiny nanostructures that interact with light in a special way. We can't see the nanostructures yet, but notice the rows upon rows of scales. These scales are made of a material called chitin. The true color of these scales is brown, but this brown material has formed millions of tiny structures that can manipulate light. An individual scale is slightly bigger than a tenth of a millimeter. Now, as we zoom into an individual scale and transition to the scanning electron microscope, we start seeing the rows upon which these nanometer-sized structures live. Remember, a nanometer is a billionth of a meter, and that's really, really, really small. The nanostructures form short layers of chitin with air gaps between. Light can reflect or pass through the layers. The light then travels through a small air gap, then passes or reflects through the next layer, and so on and so on. As light hits these extraordinarily thin layers and pass through the gaps, blue light doubles up, while other wavelengths of light either continue passing through or are canceled out. The blue light we see is very intense. Scientists look to such examples in nature to inspire technological innovation. Now on a blue morpho, the width of these layers and gaps don't change, so it cannot change its color. What if a scientist was able to make a material that could change the width of these gaps? then we could see a lot of different colors.